I love the water. It's so beautiful and making that boat move feels like such a huge accomplishment. And once you work that hard and you get out of the boat, you just feel so great. I got diagnosed with cancer in March of 2013. To be diagnosed so quickly after we had moved here, life changes in one phone call. And everything turns upside down because until they tell you, you still think you're fine. I have no family here and I had no friends here. Um, I was a little bit alone like even you know you have people but you still feel alone because the people in your close family they don't know what you're going through and if you say you're sad then they feel sorry for you and then you're like no just leave me alone and <laughs> I can do it myself and they never know what to do at that time they had something called a navigator nurse so it was someone who you would meet with as soon as you were diagnosed, before you had surgery or anything, that would talk to you about what was coming up. And when she talked to me, she gave me a pamphlet for dragon boating. So I came home and I researched it and I contacted someone on the team and within a few days I was paddling. The first time I went out in the boat, I thought that it was the hardest thing I had ever done. When I was thinking about it, I just thought, oh, we're just gonna get in a boat and go on the water. Paddles up! Take it away! I'd canoed and I'd kayaked and stuff, and now I know you use your whole body. And you don't actually use your arms to paddle. Your arms just really hold the paddle. The rest of your body does all the work. And by the end of the practice, I came home and I said, there's women on our team that are 75. I'm not going to be able to do this when I'm 75. <laughs> After having cancer, you don't trust your body anymore. Because you couldn't control it. So for me, part of joining the Dragon Boat team was that I could control that. Go! I could make decisions and do things that made me feel like I was living my life exactly how I should be. Reach! My surgery was at the middle of May. I did really well after my surgery, so I started to paddle right away. Right, paddles up. And then I had to have radiation, and that was a little bit of a kicker for me. <laughs> but out on the water and meeting all the women, some women had had cancer for 17 years already, and then you just realize that life's not over. You may live till 75 or 80 or even 90. It's just a little bump in the road, maybe kind of a detour that took you through better scenery. All right, better run. I've been paddling for eight years. Go! One, two, three, four, five. And so up, I'm one. so fit, and I never really thought at this age that I would be in better shape than I've ever been. Everybody, three. It's a different world. It's where you can go and exercise and get healthy and be fit and active, but you still have your team and you don't just support each other in the boat when you're racing, you support each other every day in life. There are like 34 people on our team and you always know if life throws you another curve, you've got all the support behind you. All these women would be there for you in a second because we've all been through it and so we support each other and help each other out and you just have to ask and sometimes you don't have to ask. <laughs> Hearing everybody's story and how everybody got through it and is stronger for it and better for it and just so amazing.